Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week starting March the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have the Two of Swords in the upright position, followed then by the uh, Page of Cups upright. And next we have the King of Cups in the reverse, followed then by the Six of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Aquarius, for your overall energy, you have that of the Two of Swords in the upright position. Aquarius, it looks like you need to make a decision this week and you could be humming and hawing and wondering whether to go right or whether to go left. It could be that you feel you don't have enough information to make an informed decision, but you're humming and hawing or in, in a bit of a stalemate for something. Remember, too, we can be in a stalemate because we can't move forward. We're waiting on information. Remember, Mercury is retrograde right now, so it could be that the information isn't coming forward. That's why you're sort of stalling on the decision. Now, coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the Page of Cups in the upright position. I love this energy. It's so sweet. I love the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups loves like he's never been hurt. So sweet, honest, and honest um, in his offer or messages of something that's very dear to your heart. This could be representing a nice message that comes towards Aquarius. Now, for some of you, this is a crush. This is uh, a love interest that is sending you cute little love notes. Can be a very shy person. And it is a water sign uh, we are dealing with here. It is court card, so it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, male or female. Or it could be a child. Uh, the Page of Cups sometimes can come up representing one of our children or grandchildren who are coming up. And they're so sweet and so loving. And they just sort of make our day when they offer us a, you know, a cute little offering. They make you a card or they uh, give you a cute little uh, you know, bouquet of flowers or something like that. And it just sort of warms your heart. For others of you, this could be representing, like I said, a crush. Uh, sending you cute little love messages and, um, you know, wants to offer you something. It can represent a message of an offer coming towards uh, Aquarius. For some of you, again, you know, it could be uh, on the emotional front, definitely romantic front. For others of you, this could just be uh, messages coming through about a possible uh, career or job position that is dear to your heart. And it's paired up with the King of Cups now in the reverse position. Uh, the King of Cups upright, again, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but not necessarily because remember, the Cups just govern the emotions. So if it's not representing uh, one of those, it could just be dealing with your emotions. Now, the King of Cups in the upright position, this is someone who is very emotionally strong, stable, uh, capable of dealing with the emotions in the most mature way. Um, the King of Cups is also very compassionate, caring, and understanding. When a card is inverted like this, this can represent uh, someone being emotionally upset. Now, it could be you yourself. Maybe some of you um, are getting this offer and it's upsetting you. Uh, maybe these uh, little love notes are uh, causing your emotions to get a little bit out of whack for others of you. Maybe it's upsetting someone else. Perhaps these love messages that are coming towards you are upsetting someone else. Or it could be that, you know, the the offer that's coming through is, uh, like I said, is some somehow throwing your emotions off, uh, out of whack so or off track. Some Something's going on there. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below. Moving towards the weekend, we have the energies of the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. This is really nice energy. I like the Six of Pentacles. This comes about to let us know that the energies around us are that of fairness and balance. Now, this could be in a relationship. Maybe the fairness and balance is uh, happening in a relationship where, you know, you feel like it's everything's equal there. For others of you, it could be representing equal work for equal pay. Um, a very, you know, generous situation that you're in. It could be uh, representing any of you who need, say, to get a bank loan or get financial backing for something. It's there for you, right? Or it could be in the other way too. The energies can go the other way. Maybe somebody is asking you to be generous with them and you're helping them out. But very nice, very nice energy uh, representing fairness, balance, and generosity. 
And the last card you have up is the Seven of Cups in the upright position. I always say it's better to have more options than none. <laughs> uh, the only thing we have to worry about with the Seven of Cups energy is, although there's a lot of options and a lot of opportunities they are presented towards us, we have to be careful with this energy because some of them are not suitable. That's why you have to go over these offers with a fine tooth comb and make sure that the ones that you're actually pursuing are ones that are going to work for you. Now, for some of you, this could be representing in the job realm. If you're looking for a new job, for others of you, this could be relationship situation where maybe you're on the dating sites and you're looking and you're seeing a lot of all these uh, different choices, different options, but they're not all, you know, suited for you. You've got to really look through them and find out which one is suited best for you. That could be why you're in the indecisive energy um, for your overall. So that is your reading Aquarius. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.